Hey everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at how to put some very crude graphics onto your J-frame using a label. So here's an example here. I've loaded a little dog picture and I hit the other button. It loads in the cat picture. You know, and as the buttons do it, you can control different pictures. Great for little casino slot programs. You want to show apples, oranges, bananas, or really anything you want to show the user, right? That's just a little static image. Here's how you do it. So the way this is using is it's using a label. So you'll see here on my frame, I've dragged in one of these. So in the swing controls, I've dragged a label in. And there's my label. One thing, make it wide enough to fit your picture. The picture's not going to stretch to the size of the box you make here okay it's um you actually have to have your picture sized properly so it's going to look right on your frame now once you have this label and i've named that label label pick here's the procedure for setting the picture so the first thing i'm going to be using a class called image icon to help us out and so you have to have this import line at the top this is built into java right all free and everything so just get this in at the top of your class file okay java x swing image icon the next thing i do is i put some images inside my project folder so let me show you where you have to put your images my images are called dog and cat so let me show you where i put them here's my netbeans project my project was called project extras right there's my source folder that has my classes look at where I've got my images right in here okay right in the project so there's cat and dog so that's where you need them and of course you have to know what they're called okay so once you've got that done then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up my images before the program starts now you could do these two lines anytime you want okay but I only have two of them they're small I'm just gonna do it right when the program uh, or the class loads itself up so here we go image icon image dog so this is the name of my variable and it's an image icon object and I load it up like that new image icon just name your file dog.ping cat.ping so there are my two uh, image icon variables when I actually want to change it I'll hit pick one and all I do is I say hey label pick so remember that's the name of my label right label pick and I say set icon to and I give it my icon object image dog and that's it okay so pretty fast changing right whenever you want to change the images one other little thing I should note here is you'll notice that my label had the text you know it had some text in there before that text disappeared I made it disappear by doing this right at the beginning of the program label pick set your text to nothing quote quote now you could do this line just before here as well if you wanted to but the reason I actually put text in there in the first place was if I actually just take that text out you may notice the label so you know it's harder to see yeah it's not as good I'm just putting it there so I can see it and I with the code I'll just clear it out when the frame starts hey I don't keep things easy for the beginner but that's really it so again those steps have the import statement put the images in your project folder load them up at some point before you're going to use them into an image icon object and then tell the label to use that as its icon and there you go awesome images and again you can see here this thing running all right, switching pictures. Hopefully you can make use of that in your little projects.